days and we have finally been cleared for discharge so we're gonna be going home with this little guy so let's get the party started you just got this little dude dressed okay buddy should we get a hat on him that could be cute with that <laughs> i always love looking down the barrel of the pacifier <laughs> that right there that's my favorite it's like a little fish Okay, so you got mama in the back, new baby over there. All right, so we're heading home. We've got the little guy back here, sound asleep, holding these gorgeous flowers from my parents. Um, Andrew's driving, so he can't vlog, but we're about to drive through Potbelly and then head on home. Can I get a rack on white? Okay, you're gonna want a regular or a bunch of gray. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll have it on regular this time. I'm gonna be naughty. Uh, don't you have like a brownie cookie or something? I do. And I'll have one of those. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. So we got the we got the baby swaddled and in his bassinet. I remember the first time around when we did this about two years ago with our first son Henry. It was super scary. We didn't know what to expect. We didn't know what to do. The drive home was just like ooh. walking through the door and coming home with a brand new baby was a mix of fear and so much excitement. We had been fed all of this information over the course of a couple of days at the hospital. So it was incredibly nerve wracking. We were scared with how to proceed. We didn't know what we were supposed to be doing. And I thought that, you know, we'd be doing this and this and it's just, you know, a lot of stuff to do because we have to take care and blah, blah, blah. But the reality of all of it is it's extremely calm and slow. Maybe it's just because this is the second time around, we kind of know what to expect a little bit more, but I don't feel nearly as overwhelmed as I did the first time. Our two-year-old is with the in-laws right now. He's gonna be coming home closer to dinner time. So before he rejoins the family and gets to see his brother again, there are a couple things I wanna take care of, a couple chores I need to do. So let, let's go take care of that right now. So uh, I'm getting Katie's pumping gear ready. The baby just fed a little bit. So this is all the pump gear right here. I'm gonna have to sort through in just a moment. Uh, yeah, if you wanna be a good guy, you can manage all these pump parts and try to clean them after each use, take that burden off of your spouse. The temporary changing station here in our bedroom is nice and locked down. So this is the Baby Bretta Formula Pro Advance. Love this thing, we're supplementing with formula. Gonna wait a couple weeks to actually use it, but got it ready and prepped. This is the Philips Advent bottle sanitizer right here. It's uh, good for sanitizing bottles quickly. And this is our rack where we put the bottles afterward. All the bottles are actually in there right now, but yeah, this is our setup. Yeah. Okay. So this is the Halo Bassinest Swivel Sleeper, the premier version. I've been wanting to test this out for a while, uh, so I ran out and got it. Honestly, we're probably gonna end up returning it. I think it's a little much, but yeah, uh, wait for that review. So there you go. Our little guy is still sleeping, but he's gonna wake up soon, hungry. But until then, it's chill. The hard part for Katie is having to endure the diaper part that that kind of sucks that's the part that they don't tell the girls after yeah <laughs> it's really sexy <laughs> all right it's there let's get a wipe or two do you have hiccups little boy yeah so this little guy just had a feeding with mama over there mama pumped uh he and i did some skin to skin and now we are looking for some apps to track feeding and all that stuff. And I did a video on this a while back, but things have changed in the past couple years. So she just found a couple good apps. 
Glow baby. Glow baby. Or, so. or wait, is it just glow? Sorry, I'm picking his profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> I've vlogged just since we've been home from the hospital. I didn't yeah. do it at the hospital, so. Hi, hen dog. Give me a hug, bud. Give me a hug. Oh, buddy. No roll. Can you wave? <laughs> you want to go upstairs? Yeah. I don't know if you're going to be able to bring every possession that you have though, bud. No gecko. No gecko. No gecko. Yeah, you can only gecko, catboy, owlette, Mario, and two of his other babies. Oh, and five. Clearly, here are the abandons over here. Are we going upstairs to play a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Oh, high five. <laughs> there you go. And baby Colin. Is that baby so Colin? You get to stay up late because you're a big boy, but Colin goes nine at huh? Yeah, buddy. Mm. Uh, it's currently 3 a.m. The baby's having a hard time downstairs in our room, so... I just decided to come and hang out with him here up in our media room for a little bit. Hi. You want to get your diaper changed? Yeah. Okay. I poo poo. Did you poo poo? I pee pee. Oh, you pee peed. Yeah. So last night the baby was up for quite some time. Katie came and uh, switched shifts with me, so I went down to sleep so that uh, I could wake up a few hours later with little Henry who's hanging out with me right now. I got about four or five hours of sleep last night, which actually is, is pretty good. It doesn't feel like, I feel like I only got like one hour of sleep. I'm a little bit out of it. I don't know what I've actually just said to the camera if I've repeated things. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna circle back with you in a little bit. You are super chill when you're awake, my dude. You are completely different than your brother. <laughs> Colin's being fed right now. We're much more awake. He had a good stretch of sleep. Hey, Henry. What's my name? Andrew. Hi. Andrew. Andrew? Yeah. Are you saying my name? I felt just like yesterday that I was doing a vlog of Henry getting his newborn pictures taken and now it's two years later and Henry is huge and he's getting his newborn pictures taken. Are you gonna be good and let us get a good family picture of you loving your brother? No. Awesome. Katie just came back up with a photographer and she noticed this little thing on the bed. That That's the uh, baby's umbilical cord. It just fell out. That's. That's crazy. I feel like that's pretty fast, but... Hey, man. How are you feeling? Gonna make your photography debut? I think it was when we took Colin and Henry's flip. Colin and Henry's grip. Hey guys, so it's actually been, ah, that's better. Do I look good? Yeah, we're good. So it's been about two weeks now and usually when I vlog, I can edit in my head. I kind of know the story arc that I'm trying to tell, but I definitely overshot. That's usually what you do when you have a newborn, you take way too many pictures and videos and I kind of just lost track of everything. So I just wanted to quickly give you a couple highlights that's happened over the past 14 days. Initially, Henry really was having a hard time with Colin, but since then he's really come to embrace his little brother. So it's been really cool seeing that. At the moment, the hardest part for us right now though is keeping our house clean for potential home buyers because we are selling our home. I know we got ourselves into the toughest situation, but we asked for it 
that's what we're doing. So it's it's hard because you always have to keep it clean for potential home buyers who want to come and view the home. And it can be at any given time. So at the drop of a hat, we have to get everything cleaned, pack everything up, and skedaddle. And it's really hard to do it, to do it with a newborn and a toddler. Uh, and now that I'm back at work, it's even more difficult for Katie. So we're managing that. We hope this house sells really, really soon. Other than that, life has continued. We've been amusing Henry with friends, outings, and we took him bowling for the first time, so that was fun. Oh, cool. oh that was close. Oh, man. <laughs> you did so well, buddy. High five. High five. Nice. All right, what are the final scores? There you go. Henry, you did quite well for your first time. The last little update that we have for you guys is this. These are little ear wells on our boy, and we'll explain to you what those are in our next vlog, so stay tuned. God bless, guys. Later. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Eyes. Eyes. Eyes.